Final minutes. We now know a lot more about the turmoil that led to a murder-suicide that cost a Hillsborough woman her husband and her son. The fight began with a dispute over child custody in a divorce. And on your side, Scott Wagner has more on this investigation. For Darlene D. Brown, the raw horror of the last 24 hours was too much for her to stay in her home here on Muskie Drive. Monday night, police say her son, 26-year-old Tyler Faulkner, who had been staying at the house, shot and killed Dee's husband, 54-year-old Tony Brown, on the front porch during an apparent domestic dispute involving Tyler's estranged wife. Highland County Sheriff Donnie Barrera says the violence didn't end there. Once they cleared the house, they found a uh, a uh, second person deceased inside the house. Faulkner had apparently gone inside the home and taken his own life. To my knowledge, at this point, it's um, a stepfather and a stepson. Dee was too upset to talk on camera, but she told me Faulkner's wife had shown up at the house to pick up the couple's children who were staying with Tyler. Tempers flared when the children were not ready. Anger that leaves this Hillsborough woman bereft of her loved ones and without a house that she wants to call home. Scott Wagoner, 9 on your side, Hillsborough. Well, a relative says that she does not believe Faulkner was on drugs at the time of the shooting. Police are awaiting the results of an autopsy just to be sure.